Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm back with another video. So today I'm just going to be doing a sketch with me. And sorry I have not posted in a while. I'm actually on punishment for saying some crazy things to my sister. And like I actually got a camera for my birthday. But it like recently came and like I couldn't film with it because I'm on punishment. And then I haven't been home because... My dad is sick, and he didn't want me and my brother coming home. So I decided that I was going to make a DIY camera stand by putting my phone on a table and then, like, using this, like, little bleach bottle to keep my phone propped up. And I filmed it on the floor, as you guys can see. So, yeah, I apologize in advance for, you know, like, the editing well not necessarily the editing but like the footage i guess because i filmed it on the floor like it isn't bad but i kind of think it's a little not necessarily ghetto but like tacky to have like the carpet in the background or whatever but i mean it was all i can do and like i didn't have my phone i'm in mean, my ipad to help me edit um you know like certain things with my apple pencil so I only uh, have my phone to do it, so it's not that good. But, I mean, I tried my best. Um, also, I want to say sorry if you guys can hear a little bit of background noise. I tried to do this voiceover while everyone was still asleep. But, like, they are doing, like, construction. So, outside, so you guys can probably hear that. If you can, I apologize for that. Um, so, yeah, as you guys can see, I'm just sketching out a face, um, and I'm doing an eye. This sketch, like, it didn't take that long, but it was very uncomfortable doing it. Like, my shoulders kept hurting because of the way I was sitting slash laying as I was doing, um, this video. Um, I try to keep this video, like, nice and short because, I mean, I feel like nobody will want to watch, like, a 20, 30-minute video. And that's how long, like, these sketches and stuff usually take. So, yeah. But once I'm able to get my camera, things will be a whole lot better far as, like, the footage and, you know, like, having a proper camera set, set up. So, yeah. And... I also wanted to give you guys, like, a tip on, like, drawing portraits or faces. I would highly recommend using guidelines to help with proportions. So, like, the corner of your eye match up with the corner of your nose on both sides. And then the center of your eye matches up with the corner of your lips on both sides. Um, And then the ear go from your eyebrow to your to your nose um so yeah but this character don't have <coughs> this character don't have ears i don't know why i didn't give her none but i guess i just didn't feel like it for real so the hair definitely took me a while i got done with the face um in under four minutes but the hair definitely took a long time. Actually, I got done with the face in probably about like seven minutes, I believe. Yeah, I got done with the face in about seven to ten minutes. And then the hair is what took me so long to do. So, yeah. And if you guys like aren't new to my channel, I like do the hair and sort of like this detail style. And a lot of people tell me that the hair that I draw looks very realistic. But me personally, I do not think it look realistic. Um, but like a lot of people that's not artists tell me that it look realistic. A lot of people that is artists tell me that it look realistic. So my next video will be um, me making Bundago keychains. It's not necessarily going to be a tutorial is just going to be me making the keychain um i'm going to make the keychain using boondaggle string or whatever and keychain rings and i just might uh make it like a tornado stitch keychain 
because a tornado stitch keychain is one of my most popular keychains. Everybody seems to really, really love tornado stitch keychains. And I've actually been selling them. So if you guys live in um, Toledo, Ohio, and you guys, you know, like probably see me out and about, just ask to purchase one or ask do I have any, and you can purchase them. The Tornado Stitch keychains are 5 and then all my other keychains sell for $2. You know, just a little shame, shameless self-promo. So, yeah. I kind of feel bad, like, uh, putting on music instead of talking. But I never really know what to say while I'm um, filming and editing. So, yeah, I'm just going to let you guys enjoy some music. And I'll come back when I have something else to say or in the outro. to give a shout out to Marky. So Marky, if you're watching this, um, I really uh, appreciate you and thank you for watching my videos and commenting on my videos. You know, you always make my day when I see your nice comments. So yeah, I just want to shout out Marky. Thank you so much. And I want to give a shout out to B4MI Time on YouTube. Thank you for commenting on my videos and telling me that I'm your favorite artist. You know, you really made my day by that comment. And yeah, I really truly appreciate you and thank you so, so much. I also want to shout out someone named Panther KP on YouTube. Um, thank you for watching my videos and commenting on my videos. You guys always make my day with your um, lovely comments. So yeah. Seeing you guys' comments and stuff like always make my day and inspired me to keep pushing and keep going with art and my YouTube channel. Um, once we reach 500 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. I'm going to be giving away a signed painting by me and a few of my coloring pages and some paper squishies to, you know, a few lucky winners. And so when I do the giveaway... All you have to do is be, like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Then you have to uh, follow me on, on like, all my uh, socials. And then that's how you enter the giveaway. But we'll talk more about that once we reach 500. And we definitely have a long way to go till then. So, <laughs> yeah. But I also want to give a huge shout-out to my dad. Because my dad is, you know, my motivator. Because he is an artist himself, and seeing him paint and draw and seeing him, you know, like, get better and better, 
the more and more he paints and stuff really inspires me and also keep me pushing. As well as my three favorite YouTubers, which is Megan Weller, Mariah Elizabeth, and Christina, Christina Larray. All of them are just like really amazing artists, and I love them so, so very much. And I'm actually a part of the Make-A-Wish Foundation, and my wish is to meet and create with Megan Weller. So I would really love for my wish to be granted. Um, I talked to her about like my wish or whatever, and she told me that she haven't heard anything from them yet, but I would really, like, really, really love to meet Megan Weller. It'll absolutely make my day, like, make my world, actually. <laughs> so, yeah, I will see you guys in the outro. Here's how the finished sketch turned out. I really hope you guys like it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!